Okay, let's add password protection to our application. I'm in the folder named number four in our files folder in our sub in our source files uh, folder from our CD-ROM, and I'm going to go ahead and create a project which is essentially identical to the project we created in the last lesson, except this time it's going to be protected by password protection. Okay, so I'm going to start up Setup Factory. And I'm going to go ahead and go through this process, create a new project, so on and so forth. Make sure it's pointed at folder number four. And I'm just going to press next, 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 because it's using the same options we've been using all along, which is what I want. And then in the archive tab here, I'm going to go ahead and drag in those two folders, like I did in the last lesson, and let them be entered as folder references. There we go. Our project is set up. It's ready to go. Of course, we, uh, we didn't rename any of the shortcuts or anything, but we're basically ready to install this. Now we want to protect this application with a serial number list. How do we do that? Well, let's go to the project menu and we'll choose serial numbers. And then as you can see here, there's a default list installed, but it's empty, right? It's got a count of zero. Let's go ahead and double click on that list. And then from the commands area here in the upper right, we'll choose generate. And we'll use the defaults here. We'll generate 100 serial numbers with this default mask. We'll press OK. As you can see, we've got our list of serial numbers ready to go. Setup Factory has generated it, and it can auto compare against this list. Let's go ahead and copy one of these into our clipboard by double clicking on it, right selecting, and choosing Copy. I'm going to press OK and press OK. Now our serial number list is set up, it's ready to use. The only thing that we have to do at this point is add a screen to check for that serial number. So we'll go to our Before Installing area here in the Screens menu, and we'll choose the Add button. And from our list of pre-built screens, we'll just choose the Verify Serial Number screen. We double-click it, it gets added to our screens, and then we can just simply move it up to the top of the list here by dragging it. Okay, while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and remove that License Agreement screen and the User Information screen because we haven't been using it. And I think that's pretty good. All right, so we've got our Verify Serial Number screen in the beginning. We'll go ahead and press OK. And we're going to go ahead and build our project. So we'll go to Publish, Build. We'll overwrite the existing file that's in our default folder, and then we'll go ahead and run this. And as you can see, we get a serial number screen here. Now, let's try just pressing next. What happens? Nothing, right? Now, the applications built by default have a three try, a three strikes and you're out policy. So if we try that three times, it'll shut down. Let's try it again and again. As you can see, it shuts down. Now, you can override that if you want, but that's the default. So I'm going to start it up again here, and we're going to try typing in for example, a false serial number. So we're using the right mask, the right combination of characters, but the wrong data. What happens then? We'll press next, and nothing happens. So you can see it is indeed comparing against the list that it generated. So we'll go ahead and paste in that serial number from our clipboard, press next, and as you can see, it goes ahead with the installer now. So that allows us to create a sort of secure gateway to our installer at the very beginning if we like or at any stage during this installation process. And as you can see, it took us less than a minute basically to generate the serial numbers and to go ahead and add the protection to our application. So it's a fantastic way to go. Uh, Setup Factory is just, you know, incredible that way. It allows you to just quickly build your, um, your serial number list and apply them to your projects. So you don't have to go through a lot of hassle and you don't really have to, uh, prepare or learn anything to do that. You can just go ahead and click to add. So that's serial number protection added, basic serial number protection. You can customize it. Um, that's serial number protection added to our application. So let's go ahead and add another level of complexity and we'll go on to the next video lesson.